Who doesn't like to have a lavish and tasty breakfast before starting a long day? In the hope to catch a plate of delicious breakfast, an old man from Texas went to the Waffle House in Lamarck, but the meal wouldn't go as planned. A waitress working in the Waffle House will do something unimaginable to the food in an old man's plate that you will always think twice before ordering. And when another lady saw what this waitress was up to, she secretly made a video of her, and it went viral. Laura owns a salon in Lamarck, Texas. One of her favorite food joints has been the Waffle House, and she loves visiting the place. But she had no idea she would witness something so strange when she walked into the Waffle House on the morning of March 3rd. The day at the Waffle House was a very busy day, full of customers in wait for a delicious breakfast. The Waffle House has been one of the most famous places in the city of Lamarck. But even a day with people all around did not stop this waitress from doing what she did. Just like any other day, Laura had ordered her cup of coffee. She was enjoying every sip of it and looking at people around her doing their own thing. That is when she noticed the weird behavior of one of the waitress, and she almost choked on her coffee. Laura caught the waitress red-handed when the latter did something unimaginable, and the first thought that came to Laura's mind was to make a video of what the waitress was doing so that she could show it to everyone. The waitress in question here is Evani Williams, an 18-year-old woman who has been working at the Waffle House for quite some time now, in order to collect and save money for her college. But everything changed after the 3rd of March. Laura had been noticing Evani for quite some time now, during every visit she had made to the Waffle House. Laura always had her eyes on Evani, because she always thought she was up to something. And on that day, she was proven right. On the morning of 3rd, a very aged customer entered the Waffle House and took a seat right in front of where Avoni was working. He ordered a plate of ham and was waiting for his order in the hopes of having a different and tasty meal than his usual routine. Since the Waffle House was always a very busy place, it took a lot of effort for Avoni to keep up with the work. She used to work very hard and try to make the customers happy. But what she did with the old man was unbelievable. On the morning of 3rd, Avoni was working just like any other day, bringing in food for the customers. The old man had ordered his meal, and when Avoni got him his food, what she did to his plate was very weird and unthinkable. Avoni did not notice that her actions were being noticed. She went on with what she had planned, unaware that someone's eyes were on her, not just looking at what she was doing, but also capturing every action of hers. Laura was taken aback when she saw what Avoni was up to. She could not believe her eyes. She had known that Avoni was up to something weird when she saw her move her eyes furtively in all directions before moving with her plan further. Laura had never seen someone do any such thing before. She was just astonished and did not understand what to say or do. The only thing running in her mind was, was Avoni really doing what she was seeing? And how? Laura started to think about what was leading Avoni to do what she was doing to the old man's food. Maybe it was the rush hour that was going on and there was too much pressure on her, even though she had been trying hard to cope up. And why had Avoni chosen the old man to do what she was doing? There were a number of customers in the diner at the time, but why had she picked up the old man? Did she have a hidden purpose behind it? The old man that had come to the Waffle House was no ordinary man. His name was Adrian Charpentier, and he had a very reputable position among the whole service crew in Lamarck. But Avoni had no idea about it. All the while, Avoni had been talking to the old man who was sitting in front of her, behind the counter she was standing at. She had indulged him into conversations and was secretly doing what she had to do, hiding his plate behind the counter. Ivoni was so much into what she was doing that when her cook called out her name to pick up the orders that were pending one after the other, she did not listen to him and continued talking to the old man. Ivoni had been hiding behind the counter and her plan was in action, but she did not know that Laura was looking at everything she was up to and her mobile was capturing everything. She could see Ivoni's hands move behind the counter. Laura tried to overhear what were the two possibly talking about so that she could know if there was a reason behind doing what Avoni was doing. But she could not hear a word since the place had a huge crowd. Laura noticed that the old man had an oxygen tank that he was carrying with him and a pipe that went into his nostrils. This meant that he was ill 
and was having trouble breathing. And then she saw Avoni come even closer to the man to hear something he wanted to say to her. As soon as the man said something to Avoni, she looked intensely in his eyes and kept staring. She knew she was asked to do something by the man, but she was not sure if she was allowed to take an action like that. Avoni ignored everything else around her except for the old man, on whom all her concentration was. She seemed oblivious to the fact that a lot of other customers were also waiting for their order to be delivered, and the work was pending. The old man had asked Avani for a very strange help, and that is how this story began. That is how Avani took the step she brought action, and that is what seemed very strange to Laura, who was looking all this while. The old man had told Avani that he was too weak and his hands and arms hardly had any strength. He had ordered ham, but it was becoming impossible for him to cut it into pieces, and that is why he wanted help. Avani took the old man's plate and kept it in front of her. He could not understand why she had pulled away from his breakfast plate and what was she up to. He had asked for help, not to cancel his breakfast altogether. Avani ignored everything, the questioning customers, her boss staring at her for being indulged with only one particular customer, and the cook who was shouting for the food that was ready to be given to the customers. She decided to help the man first. Avoni understood that it was getting difficult for the old man to cut the slice of the ham, so she decided to do that. She took the plate and started cutting the ham further in smaller pieces so that the man could eat it properly. This was exactly what was going on behind the counter when Laura had thought that Avoni was up to something mischievous. She cut the ham and gave it to the old man, and she was unaware of how this little act was going to change her life forever. Laura had never seen an act like this, and she knew exactly what to do of the video that she had made. She posted the video online on her Facebook page and wanted everyone to see how lovely people could be. Laura had just asked for her bill, and before it could arrive, her phone started to buzz and there was no stopping. Within a few minutes, Avomi had become Facebook famous and someone very famous was noticing her story too, only to give her the surprise of her life. Avoni, on the other hand, was totally unaware that Laura was watching her so closely and had made her Facebook famous. She had no idea how many people had known of her now and were in total awe of her, especially that one famous person. Even till date, Avoni feels that what she did was very normal and nothing so great. She thinks that it was her duty and responsibility to help the customer in front of her, and so she did it, without hesitating. She would have done it for anybody. Laura posted an incredibly kind post for Avoni saying, Without hesitation, she took his plate and began cutting up his ham. This may seem small, but to him, I'm sure it was huge. I'm thankful to have seen this act of kindness and caring at the start of my day, while everything in this world seems so negative. Only in a few days, the Facebook post had garnered a big number of 99,000 likes and 47,000 shares. But this was just the starting of Avoni's good days, who was unaware what the next minute held for her. Indeed, Avoni's mother was very proud of her and knew she had raised her daughter right. Avoni would have been elated by the support that the social media had shown for her. But what would have mattered most would have been the proud mother. All the recognition that Avoni was suddenly getting was indeed deserved by her. She was worthy of all the support, and her act of kindness showed it very clearly. Not many people bother about a stranger in today's world. Since everyone was in support of Avoni, the city decided to do something for the kind soul, who was just a teenager. And what happened next changed young Avoni's life forever in so many ways. When Avoni had thought that the fame was all over, she was in it for a surprise. While she was working in the Waffle House one day, Mayor Bobby Hawking dropped by. But why would such a busy person come to the Waffle House? The mayor had hidden something behind his back, and he entered the diner. He handed Avoni a big check for the kind soul that she was. She could not believe her luck. How did the mayor even know about her? The check was from none other than the Texas State University, which had sent in $16,000 for Avoni. It was a scholarship that would help Avoni in fulfilling her dream of going to a college and finish her higher education. For a person of Avoni's age, it could surely get difficult to make your ends meet financially, let alone the dream of going to college. But she worked hard for it and was always kind to everyone. A simple act of kindness 
won't cost you anything but could give you everything. And maybe Ivoni did what she did for Adrian as her duty, but for Adrian, it meant everything. The old man had been very worried and upset about the deteriorating condition of his health and the fact that somebody could be so polite and kind to him gave him happiness. You have no idea what the other person is dealing with his slasher life, so you should always be kind to everyone. Adrian had been struggling with his weakness all this while, and Ivani had no idea about it. I can hold a fork fine and dandy, but to cut it looks like I'm going to stab somebody, he said. Avoni commented, I was just like, sure, if you need help, that's what I am here for. My cook was calling my name to pick up food I had on the board, but I continued to cut his ham. It's just something I would do for anybody. The mayor was also touched by Avoni's act. He commented, somebody tagged me and it immediately. It just touched my heart. It's so wonderful that the younger generation cares about the older generation.